like a lot of people, I'm a grassroots campaigner myself. I'd just really like to hear from you, Norman, where you think grassroots campaigning should fit in. Well, I am at heart a, a grassroots campaigner. It's how I got to where I am now. And it, it was taking on the Conservatives with a 15,500 Tory majority in Norfolk and defeating them uh, and doing it by leading from the front and practising community politics, giving power to people, getting people to trust me in what I was trying to do and convincing people that I could be their representative. And we broke through because of doing it in that way. It's about winning people's trust and that is ultimately what I'm about. Hi Norman, I joined the party following Nick Clegg's speech uh, and I wanted to know why you believe you're the right man for the job. Well, all the way through, since before I was a Member of Parliament, it's about fighting to secure Liberal values, fighting and winning, incidentally, as a campaigning MP, as a campaigning minister, taking on the cause of equality for people who suffer from mental ill health and making real progress and achieving that objective. This is, I think, what I can offer to the party, fighting and winning for Liberal values. People seem fairly liberal these days, so why don't more people vote for the Lib Dems? Well, I think first of all, at the last election, we lost people's trust and we have to face up to that and we have to learn the lesson, apologise for it and make sure that we never do it again. For me, trust is critical. Uh, I want people to know that what I say and what I do uh, are exactly the same thing. And for me also, we have to return to talking about our values, what motivates us as Liberals. We defined ourselves in a way in relation to others at the last election, cutting less than the Conservatives, borrowing less than Labour. People need to know what motivates us, what drives us as Liberals. And I think if we speak to our values, if we tell it as it is, then I think we can connect with people again and build a really effective movement of change. So one thing that's important to me is that we have a leader with a real vision for the party. So where do you see the party being in five years' time? I want us to be really audacious and confident that we can build a really successful movement of change. This is a liberal age. There are so many people out there who share our values. We have to connect with them again, speaking to what we believe in, what motivates us. And I think if we do that, we can become a really successful movement of change and rally people to our cause, young people in particular, who are fundamentally liberal in their attitudes. So my whole purpose is to make a difference to people's lives. And you only do that if you can get into government, into local government and into national government. I want us to be audacious, to be ambitious, to believe that this is the start of something really big, really exciting, that we can build a liberal, progressive, radical movement of change. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to get our party in order. We need root and branch reform so that every member, whatever their background, whatever their colour, their race, their gender, can play their full part in our party. So, for example, that everyone can vote at conference time, linking people up electronically. Let's get into the lead in the way in which we campaign. I want us to become a lean, mean, election winning machine again, getting out in front of the other parties so that we are respected based on the idea of community politics, giving power to people. That is surely what we are about as Liberals. And then we must become again an intellectual powerhouse. Think of Joe Grimman back in the 60s. He brought in the great thinkers, the liberal thinkers, to come up with liberal solutions to the challenges of that decade. We must do the same now. And if we can build that movement, that exciting, radical thinking of this decade, then we can inspire people to our cause. And just think, young people are overwhelmingly liberal in their attitudes, and yet they don't identify themselves with the Liberal Democrats. If we can think big, if we can be internationalist, dynamic, open in our politics, if we can come up with the answers to the big challenge of climate change, if we can propose radical reform of our antiquated drug laws, if we can always be the ones that come up with the radical evidence-based answers to the big challenges of our time, 
people can rally to our cause. We can inspire a new generation of young people to become liberals and to join our movement of change. So if you are ambitious, if you want to join me in this great radical movement of change that aspires to be in government, then vote for me in this leadership election. Thank you so much. I'm backing Norman Lamb because I think he's the man who's going to be able to define what liberalism is in very simple terms so that other people can understand and also because of his fantastic work as a... Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I'm just telling them why I'm backing you. Oh, that's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much. No I worries. I appreciate no it. No worries. Nice to meet you.